Good day, dear Sir Paya. So, dito sa ginawa natin school management system using C Sharp and um, SQL Server database. Okay, so our last uh, topic or discussion. So, tapos na tayo kung paano natin insert yung data from the student details to the SQL Server database and display to the data grade and tapos na rin natin uh, ginawa ng tutorial kung paano naman natin i-retrieve yung data from data grade view 1 to student details form okay so now uh, we're going to discuss on how to update and um, move to archive the student records okay so first is update muna tayo so dito kung makikita natin dito like for example ito click natin to so dapat yung save is naka disable tapos yung update is naka enable okay so dito tayo sa code Uh, student list and student list natin and then we have if that uh, btn save is enabled false and then if that or the form the student uh, the student form that btn update is enabled true okay yeah So, check natin for this student records. Tapos, so, ayan, naka-disable na yung update. Hindi naka-enable yung, ano, naka-disable yung save, naka-enable yung update. So, dito naman, once na mag ng record, so, dapat naka, ayan, naka-disable yung update, naka-enable yung uh, save button. Okay? So, now, Paano naman natin i-update yung record uh, na galing dun sa ating database? So, to data receive um, method or the event, then copy lang natin to, lahat sila. So, yung code nito is nasa, uh, I think, part um, part 3 or part 4 ng ating tutorial or part 5 ng ating tutorial tapos dito tayo kay update yan magay natin dyan tapos update record then click is to confirm so yung insert entry statement so palitan natin ng update name ng table and then set natin Yan. So, check muna natin dito. So, I think meron tayong ano? Ah, dito. So, meron tayong ano ba tayong LBN? Uh, if that LBN ano tayong ID, no? Kasi dito, sa table na ginawa natin, meron tayong ID na ayan okay ito naka primary key naman yung ilarin natin so sa ilarin na lang natin okay so balik natin sa so, ilarin so yung update so yung ilarin natin is tanggalin natin dito so sa yung ever natin set student student type Copy natin at student type then last name at in the parameter variable na last name the first name column and then the parameter variable na if name so ayan ok so ito lang yung gagawin natin palitan lang natin 
then the word date of the birthplace the contact birthplace so this is the contact and gender so we need to make a balance now and then this is marital citizenship religion address mother father Ayan, so medyo mahaba siya. Where tayo, where LRM Yan yung ilarin natin Pinagkoso ito sa lahat is tanggalin na natin ito Tanggalin natin ito sa lahat Okay, so yan And then Sailor in, ito is, ilagay natin siya sa dulo ng ating statement. Sa dulo ng ating parameter. Ilagay rin natin dito. Okay, record has been successfully updated. Okay? And of course, uh, days that post. So, let's try student so for example itong si Rambo <coughs> then change natin RAM tapos update natin update record click yes yes update so yan uh, palitan na ng RAM yung uh, name nya tapos dito yung format na birth date natin is so may nakalagay kasi na oras so remove natin yung oras where's my code ayan dito so remove natin yung time this is uh, birthday so so try natin to Pwede ba natin siyang Pwede na agad Kisa may mali siya na 
Nanti saya pilih ayahnya. First natin siya to date and time. Ayan. The to string or the short date. Okay. Ayan, short date. So, let us add click natin. Ang tama. So, then. So, ayan. O, filter natin na yung date natin. Okay. So, now, Paano naman natin siya i eh, archive yung data? Okay, so, so hindi natin siya i eh, tatapon sa ibang sa ibang table. So create lang tayo dito ng another column. Status natin. So, let us uh, check natin kung may status na ba nakalagay dito ever meron na so code na lang tayo status so by default naka-active siya so ayan so and of course ito is a filter natin siya so where status like active So, lahat ng active student lang yung i-display niya. Okay? Tapos dito, meron tayong uh, move to archive. Ito mo siguro. Check natin. Tapos check natin. So, call delete. Then condition tayo dito. Let's try. Ano ba yan? Ito. Else. If. Call name natin is equal to. Call delete. Then message box tayo. If. Message box dot issue. Move to. Archive this record. Click yes to confirm. Then we have title and then yes no. Okay, and then questions. If equal to table result that yes. So, kung i-move na rin archive, cn.open, cn.close, cn.close, come on, and uh, not delete, oh, this is update, update tbl student, uh, sit, status to inactive will rrn let it review on the throws so check natin kung ilang kailang silyong hila rin natin so this is 0, 1, 2 so sakto tayo this is index 2 that value that is string then we have same that execute ng query. The message box tayo. Ang 
Taka, we have the title. This is course, did not need the record. No records. So let us try. Yes, student none, student. Tapos example zero. So, move natin. Move the archive this record to this control. Yes. The record is successfully moved to archive. Ayan, so natanggal na siya. But actually, tinanggal lang natin siya sa master list. Pero dito, nandito pa rin siya sa ating table student. So, yung ginawa lang natin is pinalitan lang natin yung status from active to inactive. So, hindi natin siya pwede i-delete yung record ng estudyante. Kasi record na yan ng school. So, if ever um, tapos na siya sa pag-aaral or hindi na siya na-enroll sa, sa school, so, pwede natin siyang ilagay sa inactive. Okay? Para lahat ng record niya under sa Uh, dito sa database is hindi mawala. So, ayan. Pinagkin na rin siya ng inactive. Okay? So, um, I hope meron kayong natutunan. So, yung ginawa na lang natin is kung paano natin update at saka i-move to archive yung Uh, student natin na nandun sa ating student master list. Then, para sa next tutorial natin, paano naman natin i-restore yung inactive student uh, papunta dito sa ating uh, master list. Okay, so maraming salamat sa inyong panunood at pagkinig. So, I hope mayroon kayong natunan kahit kunti. So, again, this is Sir Paya. So, sa mga bago pa lang sa channel ko, please subscribe my channel. I'm sure marami kayong matutunan dito. So, gumagawa po tayo ng tutorial uh, from basic programming uh, kung paano gumawa ng system from scratch hanggang sa pantapos po natin. So, um, sa ngayon is meron tayong ongoing na tutorial itong ating um, school management system using c -Sharp and SQL Server Database. At saka yung malapit na natin matapos yung POS and inventory system using c -Sharp and MS SQL database. So, uh, gagawa rin ako ng bagong tutorial. So, simulan ko maybe uh, this day or tomorrow. So, yung language naman ang gamitin natin is Visual uh, Visit. Tapos, uh, Ayan, at tapos uh, MS Access Database para sa mga baguhan pa lang or gusto pa lang or, or yung mga gustong matuto sa programming. So, maraming salamat. Happy coding everyone.